Hey, this is Diablo Killer 124, and today I am going to show you how to change scenes. I have a pre-made one right here. Uh, all it does is go from scene scene one to scene two. Uh, pretty cool. So let's give it a test. When you click this, which is a button, it takes you here, and when you click this, it takes you back. So it's going through scene one and scene two. Well key frames one and two so go ahead and create a new action script 2.0 file and make something like I'll just make a circle and then create a new f key frame oops ah insert blank key frame and then create a different object I'll use blue on this one I guess and then go back to your first keyframe right click the whatever uh, thing you made and convert it to a symbol make sure it's on button and name it button one click OK and then go back to your scene two do that for the same thing except name this one button button two and on scene one right or right click on scene or keyframe one go to actions and type button one dot on re release equals function oops <coughs> and in there you would type go to and stop and then you type in the keyframe name which would be two because it's keyframe two one two and then after that after the bracket type stop like that and then check it for errors and now go to your keyframe two do the same thing except type button two dot on release on release I'm not gonna talk when I'm writing action script I just can't do it um equals equals okay Ah, forgot. Go to and stop. One. And then let's test this. Now let's try clicking it. Oh, doesn't work. Go back to your keyframe one. Go to your actions. And let's look at this. Huh. Did we add a stop? Oh no, we didn't add stop. It would it was just went back. So make sure you ha always add stop there. And now test it. Okay, it's still not working. Hold on. Change the frame label to two, and then on the first one to one. Let's see if this works. Huh. Let's try putting this in front. I'm not sure why it's not working. Unless we come here, check, no errors. That's odd. Okay, come back here and then move stop back. Oh, I see why. I see why. I'm sorry. Uh, select your button and where it says instance name, name it button one, button two for your second button. And for your first, select the button and name it button one. That'll work. But we have to make sure to add stop again. 
So give that a test, and there we go. Ta-da! Just keeps taking you back and forth. Um, I'm gonna start uploading these on my site soon, and when I do, I will post my site. This is it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Um, I'll be uploading plenty more tutorials soon to come, so watch for them. Thanks, and remember, subscribe!